fuck me, that's great. Right. Back. Today we are probably going to do a little full day, maybe a full day of eating. Just what I'd get up to, to be fair. Um, it's about 6 o'clock now, I'm going to head off. Got a few clients to train in the morning, then there's got one later on. But, going to be hitting a big pull session with two lads, two handsome chaps, uh, Kurt Russell and Wes Russell, the brothers, so uh, going to be getting a session in with them at Body360, haven't been there for about two weeks, so it'd be nice to go back, get a little session in. Right, I'm going to get myself away, get this day started. Kevin, stop being. And Right. World's most pointless short clip. Let's go to work. Right, we're on the class outside. Pro tip. BB Fitness represent. PTs. Keep your clients' programs in folder. Full copy it and use it as a little template. That is organisation. Look at that. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. That's decent, that, by the way. That's very good. Got a little break in between clients. Let's scram this. Get it down, this. And then one more to go, and then we're training. Right. Clients all done. So, we're going to have... A little snack training in about an hour and a half or so. So probably need a little bit more food in me. Gonna have a little protein shake, chocolate rice cakes and kiwi. Uh, I'll cut my macros for today. I'll probably put them in with the meals. So my last meal, I'll be estimating rough macros just cause it wasn't really on plan. Uh, but yeah, little snack. Gonna go and train, pull session. Eat this, chill for a bit, train, and then I'm back later for more clients. But anyway, at uh, Body360, um, just Kurt training today. Me and Kurt are gonna hit a back workout, he's gonna be a little bit late, as per usual, but now I'll let him off. Um, got the MV Pre prepped in the water, three quarter scoop, so not a full scoop. So, this is the last week of my training block, so my training block's kind of split up. Over the month, in the four, like four one-week blocks, uh, each one's kind of increasing the volume a little bit. More focused on a little bit of strength, so I'm prioritising my first few movements. So I'm working in the the five three one program on my um, incline bench, and trap bar deadlifts, and hip thrusts, and then I'm switching between flat bench. But I think I'm going to change over to overhead press next block. Uh, working five five three one, and then for the rest of my training. Strength wise, I'll be doing for my compound movements. Uh, first week, I'll be doing three sets of eight. Second week, it'll be four sets of six. And then the last block will be five sets of four. On my strength work, so today I'll be doing chin ups. It'll be my five sets of four. I start on that, and then my other movements just vary. It's normally about two or three other movements and a bit of core. And then I occasionally throw some conditioning as well but yeah so this is the last week of my blocks obviously this is the fourth and final week after this week i'm going to almost a deload week in a sense but um i'm not i don't really feel like i like deloads because it kind of stops momentum when I'm, i feel it when i'm training my momentum in terms of work in terms of my mood and stuff like that is a lot better so my deload week is more just a lower volume week so i'll knock the the five three one will go to a like a three by five sort sort of speed or power work. So, like on my previous workout, I did 
previous pull workout we did the explosive pull ups into med ball slams I'll mix it up like that so I'll do for example instead of like a heavy bench I'll do a speed bench say at like 50% 55% for five reps, jump off and do like five plyo push-ups or clapping push-ups or whatever. And then instead of doing my even my three, eight, four, six, or five, four, I'll do just two sets of ten. Probably just drop the volume down. And then everything else I'll probably just keep pretty much the same. In terms of my isolations, maybe just like take one isolation out. And start everything else pretty much the same because I'm not very good at managing RPE and stuff like that. I've tried doing the RPE scale and reps and reserve and all that sort of stuff, but I find if I train pretty hard, even within one rep from failure, then that kind of works best for me. I know people like uh, Mike Israel, Revive Stronger, so and, uh, is it Adam? They're big on progressing your volume over time and having like a deload sort of stage. Um, I don't know, Brad Schoenfeld, he recommends start off with a deload every four weeks then you can kind of progress it um, but I know bodybuilders, especially like Josh Bridgman, TM Cycles, all them they're quite big on going pretty much until you've ruined so probably in 8 to 12 weeks and then take the deload their deload's like pretty much completely off training uh, but I like to keep on training, keep on top of my training so anyway, that's how I kind of program my my training I might write up a program and actually put it out to you guys so if you're interested in that um, comment below I'll probably do something like that I'll write a program up which I'll be following myself and then you can kind of follow it as well and be good to kind of track progress together anyway I'm gonna start the workout off finish this envy pre I've got my 20 grams EAAs and 30 grams silic dextrin for the creatine as well. In there, got the post workout meal at the ready with the bagel. Hopefully, I can use the microwave in there because if you don't microwave your bagels or you haven't tried it, 30 seconds in the microwave, fantastic little post workout treat. It's like soft, doughy goodness. Cinnamon and raisins are the best. Get it. Uh, anyway, Gonna change out of the attire, the work attire, into some better attire. God, I love doing that. It's so fun. Anyway, we'll do it properly this time. Damn, much better. Let's get to it. Sometimes I dream about going back, keeping all the things I left behind. But now I know who can change the past. Way too young to know the reason why. And it all comes rushing back, rushing back. And it all comes rushing back, rushing back. Here we see a fast Kurt Russell munching away. <laughs> oh my god! The 
Both work out time. Unlike Kurt's uh, half eight and curry. The real athlete. <laughs> Pretty notes. Bagel. Right, so back. Great session. Got to be back at Body360. And that MV Pre is still in my system. Oh, yes, full scoop. Yeah, sorry. Uh, talk a little bit about my deload. So, signs that you need a deload. Um, pretty much fatigue. So, if you feel absolutely shattered and you go into every session thinking, like, oh, for God's sake, this is another session, I feel dead. That's another sign. Um, something else. Your sleep's off. That's a big sign. So, if you feel like you can't sleep, have a rest of sleep. Obviously, it can be down to other factors as well. But when you get to like a a chronic state of fatigue, your sleep tends to suffer quite a bit as well. Um, but another thing that can affect that is obviously caffeine, so just have a little bit of a break from caffeine if you're having sleep issues, which I know can be hard. Because I'm at the point now where I'm borderline addicted, but I can have at least one day off a week, which is normally a Saturday. So. Uh, another sign, your lifts in the gym aren't progressing the kind of, you're at a standstill or a plateau, as they call it. Um, so say it might have been two weeks in a row, the same lift might have not went up. The third time you come in, it might have even went down a little bit. So you see your bench press, you know, when get 80 kilograms to 10, it's went down to like eight or nine reps. And that might be a sign. Taking five days to a week off might be a good idea. A few days off or just a little deload to a lower volume period of training. Uh, your body needs to like reset and refresh sometimes so don't be afraid to take a little bit of time off especially if you've been through say like an 8 to 12 week block of training blasting it all the way through uh, you definitely need that little bit of time off injury injury so joint pain get a little bit of elbow pain knee pain hip pain back pain that could be not only a sign that you might need a bit of a time off but having time off to let the injury recover is also a good good little indicator um, but like I said, people love going through injuries and they hate taking the time off. So try your best. Um, your body needs to heal, it needs to recover. So your recovery is just as much, just as important as the training. So that includes nutrition, sleep. Um, obviously making sure you're just relaxing when you're away, having plenty of time for yourself. Mental health's key as well. A big part of it all. But yeah, that's pretty much that. I've just got one more client to train, then we're gonna go home. I think we might be either eating out tonight with the family, with the fam, or something else. We'll see. Because I don't think the mother's cooking. Anyway, yeah, so go back, get some food after this last client, and I will see you when I'm back at home. Oh, but first, need to get back into the work stuff. So, because I love doing it. Just like magic. I need to stop doing that. I'm probably going to do this every single video, just to let you know it's going to be my thing. Just click me fingers. But anyway, see you in a bit. Rumour has it, there's cookies at work. Cookies have been found. What have we got for tea? Oh, chicken burgers. Oh. Do you want to have an appearance? No. And then Say hello. No. No. <laughs> I don't know. Have a sweet potato fries. I'm not having a bun, so you have a bit. You're on. I've got a track suit on, man. you got a gym shark top on. Yes. Representing. <laughs> Representing. Stop it, right, we're not eating out. We're eating out. You're not on us. I know. We're eating in chicken burgers, bacon, chicken. It's a feast. Gonna enjoy. A load of that. 
Look good. Wow, stereotypical, open the cupboard, camera's there, yeah. Anyway, last meal, we've got a bowl of, I think it's Kellogg's Protein Crunch. Kellogg's Protein Crunch with a few little bits of chocolate orange shreddies. Eat this, probably an easy, solid 4,000 calories in for the day. Uh, but yeah, that's just a standard day, to be fair. Nothing too flash. Also had a cookie as well, and there's a few little dark chocolate biscuits left on there. Also, if you're asking why I've got glasses on, blue light blockers. If you don't know, Google it, research, blue light before you sleep, ain't good, so get them on. Join the hype. Anyway, I eat my cereal, and like I said, Kurt will do the outro. See you next time. Burning PS and fitness. <laughs> Forget a like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>